So it all starts when there's 22 people standing at the same place, just waiting for a little same thing. Hearts are beating fast, blood is rushing through the body. You can see everyone just waiting for that one sound, for everyone to start chasing for that one goal. Throughout the whole 90 minutes of the most accelerating and passionate thing in between these people. So I'll be talking about the causes of injuries in soccer, the ways to prevent soccer injuries, and soccer players who have been injured and has lost their careers or have really terrible injuries and have returned to playing soccer. So for the cause of injuries in soccer, uh, people think that stretching is one of the best, that if you stretch, you will not get injured, and that's when they, they're wrong, because they think that, oh, if I stretch well, I won't have injuries, but it all comes down to certain steps in which you will prevent your injuries. Um, there was a research conducted by Simon Fraser at the Simon Fraser University, a three-month uh, three uh, observation. Stretching before running did not prevent injury for over 2,700 runners, he said, um, the university um, observed them. Um, as well as exercising, it's also a very important thing to do before getting in the field. It's also known that before, like as professional soccer players, they have to, they have to go throughout a whole process which um, exercise is one of the most important things. Dieting is also important, and which all those things come down to preventing an injury. Um, to prevent soccer injuries, it comes down to uh, exercise before a game. Always warm up. Stretching hip and thigh muscles. Uh, the Dr. Stefan C. Hunter, he said that preventive steps can be taken to decrease the risk of sprains, strains, and breaks in soccer players. Uh, there's also, they came out with a preseason program, which during the preseason, they do a 20 minute warm up, which they just stretch, they do certain exercises, in which it helps out for the muscles, for ligaments, and there's also the he came he said that Dr. Stephen said that rates are higher in athletes who have not adequately prepared physically, uh, as well as overuse injuries. It's something that soccer players tend to do a lot, which they get injured and they don't recover well. They don't recover how they're supposed to to 100 percent. So they tend to go out and play, and that's when a worse injury comes in. They have to go for surgery and it's not the safest thing to do. One of the, one of, one soccer player is Alexis Sanchez that plays for Barcelona and, the, and his uh, home, home team, which is Chile. He's known as one of the players who doesn't read, know how to read his body, which once it's tell, it tells him that he has to stop, he doesn't know when to stop, he just keeps going, and that's how he gets a lot of injuries. Um, there's also a prevention program for ACL, which is also an important thing during this topic. ACL is one of the ligaments which is more common to be broken, to be tear in soccer players. Uh, Dr. Michael said, uh, our 20% our 20 injury reduction rate is highly significant. They did a, well, they did, they did the program, the prevention program for ACLs, and they had a 20% injury prevention reduction, which helped out, which made other teams take on this program. Uh, as for now, uh, the soccer players that I want to bring in to, for being affected by the injuries, one of them, well, first we have the, these are the common injuries in soccer, which is the muscle, the strain in the muscle, those are the strain ligaments in the ankle, which is also the ligament in the knees. And then we see the fracture bone in the foot, or anywhere in between from the knee down. Uh, one of them is the Jabril. One of his first, the first time he got his leg broken, as you can see, it just breaks right there. Um, he was playing uh, for Liverpool. That was his first injury, which was in his left leg. The second injury was in his right leg. So now he has two injuries. 
After the first injury, he went back to playing. He actually went back. Then this happened about 20 months before that happened. That was in the World Cup in 2006. Another one would be David Bust. That was in 1996. Um, he was playing for the Sky Blues against Manchester United. So it's a little blurry, but his right leg is going this way, and it just breaks and goes that way. And on his case, he had 26 surgeries because of that. He was bleeding in the field. Um, I think the soccer player saw it, and he started just vomiting because of what he saw. And the last would be my testimony. That's when I had surgery on my left leg. That was ACL. I had another surgery, but I don't have pictures. And I had, on the right leg, I had ACL and meniscus, which it, it, it's just, it all comes down to, you see professional soccer players having injuries, but then they follow through a whole process of you know prevention, exercising, but then when it comes down as me, as I just play for school, I don't follow a diet, I don't follow like a strict workout. So what happens is that since I don't work out my muscles, I'm weak in certain parts. So that's when my, if I do a certain movement, my ligament just stores, I get surgery. Same thing for my right leg, I did a bad movement, I was gonna kick the floor, and my foot got stuck and I ripped my ligament again. So, um, it's, we see the difference in between professional soccer players and, and just athletes in common in schools and high schools. So thank you very much.